Palantir buys gold. Why aren't they buying Bitcoin? Does Palantir know something that we don't? Remember, they're a government contractor, a data analytics company, and a spy agency for hire. So again, why buy gold? Why not Bitcoin? Well, CEO Alex Karp says it's part of his company's strategy of being prepared for the next black swan event. I'm Skylar James. Welcome back to the channel. What kind of black swan event would make gold advantageous? Should we follow their strategy? There's no way to start this discussion without comparing Palantir's gold stash to Tesla's purchase of Bitcoin. Elon Musk has well over a billion dollars worth of that crypto on his company's balance sheet. Palantir has suggested in the past that they too would buy Bitcoin, although there's no public confirmation of this yet. Is their gold purchase a precursor to BTC accumulation? Hmm mental note made. Just compare the price appreciation of gold to that of Bitcoin. Look at this head scratcher. Gold has done virtually zero in price appreciation over several decades. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is up some 25 million trillion percent. Tesla has made hundreds of millions on their BTC, while gold only increases pennies a month. So again, what gives here? Here's the thing with Palantir. They don't do what the rest of us expect. They don't care what we expect. When companies were moving from Silicon Valley to Texas, Palantir moved to Denver. When CEO Alex Karp was frustrated with the short-term price action on his company shares, he went on TV and told us about it. He said he didn't care if we bought shares of Palantir or not. Uh, if you want something else, it's a huge world. Buy some other stock. Yeah. You don't have to buy Palantir. No one's forcing you. We're completely liquid. Do something else. That's not the typical CEO talk. CEOs are usually bending over backwards to convince us investors their stock is worth buying. Palantir is not a company that operates conventionally. So they bought gold in 100 ounce bars. At today's price, that means each bar is worth 178,000 bucks. Not very liquid. You don't use a thousand dollar bill to buy a pack of gum. What are you actually doing with a gold bar worth six figures each? The company tells Bloomberg, this gold stock is part of a strategy to allow their customers to pay in gold in addition to the black swan hedging, and that accepting gold is more worldly than only accepting US dollars. I don't buy it. If the customer overpays, you'll be able to hand them change in what, 100 ounce gold bar increments? That's nonsense, it can't be that. It must be more related to the black swan event. The question I can't shake about all this, the question I can't rule out, does Palantir, through their work with the US government, know something about crypto or hackers or foreign actors that the rest of us don't know? Do they think that a competitor to gold, some store of value like crypto, could see a black swan crash? And would that cause gold to suddenly skyrocket in value? This is a business, right? Palantir wants to make money. So when they buy gold, they need to know it's going to be worth the purchase. Gold isn't useful in a panic situation. That's one of the big criticisms of the precious metal. So I think Palantir must see some sort of monetary gain ahead for them to justify allocating this much money to it. Sounds to me like Palantir is potentially taking a contrarian position to crypto. Contrarian position to the idea that gold is a poor investment and a poor hedge. And I don't think they're doing this without due diligence. Let's hit the pause button there for a second. Normally, this is where creators ask you to smash that like button and subscribe button. I have a different request. Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the video. I'm trying to build a community where we can have discussions around these topics. Even if your comment is as simple as, hi. Back to Palantir, in full disclosure, they have 2.4 billion in cash in addition to this 50 million in gold. So the gold is not even two and a half percent of their war chest. But again, the interesting thing is that they chose gold instead of crypto. And with a company who makes money by spying and by being intrusive and analyzing data, a company this connected to the government, this capable of listening in on adversaries and networks around the globe, I again ask, what does Palantir know that we don't know? If you wanna follow their path, check out the Goldman Physical Gold ETF ticker AAAU. I like that ETF over GLD because the vault is all in one location in Perth, Australia, backed by the Aussie government. In that ETF, shareholders can request physical gold to replace their ETF position at any time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.